Hello, hello. So it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video. I thought I'd try something slightly different today. I've liked Star Wars now since I was a kid. That really resurged in lockdown where my partner showed me all the films again and from there I just fell in love with them all over again. But from there I found a company called Padawan Outpost who sell lightsabers and I've bought quite a few products from them. But they've recently started doing a product called the Jawa Junk Box. This is a scratch and dent saber mystery box. They do a normal size one and the jumbo junk box. So I've already bought one of those previously what I got from them before was really, really good. I got a Darth Maul dual Xenopixel lightsaber. This is so, so cool. I got two Neopixel blades with that as well. And I also got a Baselit Ahsoka Shoto, which I'm so, so pleased with. It's such a cool saber. As well as that, I got a, another Baselit saber and a case and blades for all of these as well, which was really, really cool. Aside from that, I've had previous scratch and dent sabers from them, such as my Graflex, as well as just grabbing many other parts from them in the past. So when they put up another Jawa's Junk Box run, I thought I had to get it. And so I thought I'm gonna try a little unboxing and review. I've not really done one of these before, so bear with me. Something I've wanted to do for a while. I'm recording on my phone over there. So if I switch over to that view now, I will get this unboxed. I'm hoping I've re removed my address as best as possible from this. Yeah, let's crack into this massive box. I'm trying not to like get a peek into the box because I want it to be as much of a surprise on video. Right, okay, so I think that's all the tape undone. So let's give it a reveal. Okay, so it's all still wrapped. So I think this is a piece of paper that will tell me what I've got. Well, yeah, so I think this is a piece of paper on the back. Oh, it doesn't tell me what I've got, okay. So it's just talking about charging. Thank you from Padawan Outpost. And let's pull. Okay, so I've got a huge, huge box in here, as well as a couple of product manuals. So I'm gonna try and get rid of all the paper and take out this big, big box in here. So I didn't get a case this time, which is fine, because I did not, did not need another case. Just checking there's nothing else in the box. Right, so I've got this big, big box now, and I guess when I lift this up, it's gonna reveal what's inside. So let's find out. Oh, still more paper, still more mystery. Okay. Right, uh, let's remove this bit of paper. For oh, they've gone full mystery with this one. So before, they weren't um, like fully wrapped like this, which is really exciting so I've got two sabers I can see from the looks of it um, this this is a, a neopixel blade Ooh, let me turn this around this is a neopixel blade so I know one is definitely neopixel which is cool it's a it's a second neopixel blade so they're definitely both neopixel sabers so let's unwrap it and find out what I've got before I reveal it. Really I'm happy with anything because at the minute I've been building a parts bin for sabers so I can like put together a bunch of different configurations and stuff of sabers. So let's find out what my first saber is. Ooh. Oh, they really build the suspense. Ooh, okay. So. It is. Um, I cannot remember the model model name. I will search that up in a second. But this is one of their like sort of standard offerings. It's really cool. I love the red on it though, and I love like the parts that I've got. It definitely like Iron Man vibes from it. That's very very cool. I will search up the model of this in just a second. So I think from the looks of it on the website, this is the model beta in Xenopixel which is really cool. Very cool saber. Let me check if it all turns on. That's very cool. I'll get a blade in that in a bit and we'll properly test it out. So that's very, very cool. Um, Xenopixel. And from what I can see, even though it's a Jawa junk box, this saber looks perfect. The risk that you take with Jawa junk boxes is that all of your saber parts may not be perfect, so there may be like scratches on it, like there's some some very slight scratches on here, but you can't even see that on the video. All the electronics may be older or not perfectly working, but in this case, this one seems great. Let's find out what my second saber is. I'm very excited to find out because that's a great start.
Ooh. Oh, wow. So this is Balan's lightsaber. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, that's awesome. And it's also in a Zeno 3. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm so, so pleased with that. That's awesome. So this one might not be working. Um, the, the core maybe isn't working. I'll have to look into it. It might just be that it needs a charge. Um, but yeah, immediately I recognize that as Balan's saber. That's so, so cool. This is a saber that I really wanted to get at one point. Um, since watching Ahsoka... Balin and Shin have been two of my favourite characters. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so, so pleased with that. Uh, let me give it a plug in and just see if it needs a charge. Charging. Yeah, so that's that's all it needs, a charge. That's so cool. And I think it's just because it's got some, like, base scratches on it, but that is awesome. Wow. Uh, so I'm going to go give these sabers a charge, and then I'll come back and... We will go for like a spin test. I haven't tried Zeno 3, so I know there's some new effects on it. But yeah, this is this is so cool. Very, very pleased with that. All right, so I've let them have a little charge. Uh, I'm just gonna give a demo of the Balin one because they've got the same soundboards in them. Really, they'll do the same thing. I've got my demo blade on it. I'm not really gonna be giving like a full review of the boards because I mostly wanted to just give a review of the Jow Junk Box. So I'm just gonna be showing off a bit of what it looks like. Let me close my window so it's a bit darker in here. So I've mostly played about with Zeno 2 on my personal saber. So Zeno 3 is definitely gonna be different. I know you can config everything through Bluetooth now. Um, so I look forward to playing about with that. But for now, this is just what's on the saber by default. As you can see, it's nice and bright. Yeah, this was a font called The Chosen. It's got motion controls, which is nice. And obviously because of that NeoPixel blade, it lights up all the way. It's the absolutely ridiculous Sailor Moon font. A very cool font. The teacher. A very Yoda inspired font. The second. Really cool thing about the Balin one is that you can see these windows showing the blade through. I think that's really, really cool. Very, very cool. So, so pleased with this saber in particular. Can't believe my luck on that. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to show. I wanted to show a little bit of how the sabers worked, uh, just to show that they do work. I've tested the red one, but the battery is still charging on that. Both seem to work great. I think it is just that they're scuffed, so... I definitely recommend you go check out Padawan Outpost, see if they've got any more of these in stock because this was such, such a good deal. I'm so pleased with it. Yeah, I recommend you check if they've got any of these. If not, they do sell Neo Mystery Boxes where you might get a bit more of a plane hilt, but you can get character hilts in there. Yeah, either way, definitely go check them out. Such a good company. Their customer support is second to none. I'm really, really pleased with this. Thank you so much. and. Yeah, I might do more Saber videos in the future. I will have another video about Padawan Outpost coming soon. I just need to get around to recording it. But yeah, look out for that. And hopefully more Saber videos, more Star Wars videos, and just more videos in general coming soon. Bye-bye.